James, come on. That's it, that's it. What's the score, lads? Need a striker. So, Paul, uh, that was a bit different, wasn't it? Talk us through it. Yeah, no, it was good fun. Obviously, it's a, a bit of promo for the, you know, the coming season. Obviously, ten and five, and now got the highlights. So it'd be, be nice not to have to stay, stay awake to the early hours of the morning. They'll, they'll stick it on prime time, and uh, we can enjoy the, uh, enjoy the highlights, like I say, and, uh, and still get a good night's sleep. I have to say, I mean, are you one of those sort of players who do you actually do that? Do you sort of watch back the highlights of the game? I like to, yeah. I, I, you know, like if I'm away, a lot of the time, you know, I watch match of the day, and I would probably. It's one of those you're fighting the sleep, you know, yourself trying to go to sleep. But I would stay awake normally to to watch a lot of the games, really, just to to see what's going on in and around the leagues and and what's happening in the football league. So yeah, I would do. And like I say, now it's on before match of the day. It'd be it'd be nice to watch it without, like I say, trying to keep one eye open. Absolutely, no idea. Well, um, I tell you, I mean, that was uh, quite the performance in there in goal for you as well. It was uh, quite an eye opener with that save in the first. Uh... <laughs> yeah, no, it's always it's a bit of fun, really. And you know, I was just saying to the lads, you just really enjoy five. Five sides, you know, just going out there, a bit of fun, and you know, five side kick around. It was great fun, and the, the lads were brilliant, and, and made it, you know, really enjoyable. Also, a lot of fans came down for it as well. I mean, you're certainly someone who never is going to turn down North Graf Crest. You, you seem to fit that quite well with the fans. Yeah, no, it's brilliant, and you know, the fans make the football club really, and you know, we play to, you know, to give them something to cheer, and you know, without them, there wouldn't be a football club. So yeah, we, you know, we appreciate the fans, and like you say, they they always turn out, they always turn out in numbers, and you know, I think as players, we couldn't appreciate that more. I mean, have you ever done anything like this before at Millwall or anything like any publicity sort of TV stuff? Yeah, no, I've done a few bits along the way, yeah, a few bits over the years. Um, never actually played against some fans like that, so that was, like I said, that was probably a first. But yeah, no, like I say, but I always enjoy it when you do do it because it's, you know, it just keeps you grounded and it's good to meet the fans, be in touch with the people who, who care so deeply about the football club and, you know, and you know they can transmit to the players how important it is for them and you know it's up to us then as players to take that pride and that responsibility on the pitch and put in performances and get the results that you know in turn repays them. I don't want to retire you too early at all but if you thought about maybe moving into TV or an acting career after you hang your boots up? I don't know if my acting was that good I'll have to wait and see it on the TV first but no it was good fun like you say it was uh, an enjoyable afternoon. I mean looking ahead to the season though back on a serious note um, you know Paul Cook the new manager coming in what do you make of Paul and also he's made you club captain as well I mean that's a massive honour for you. Yeah, massive on you. Like I say, it's a great football club. Great football club to play for. Uh, really enjoyed my time last season playing here. So, like I say, for the new manager coming in, I think for any player, you're always on your toes. You're always kind of, you know, a bit wary of your position at the club. But, you know, for him to come in and, and make that kind of statement um, was massive for me. It was a big, big boost for me. Um, and now, like you know, I'm under, I'm under no illusions. It's down to a lot of hard work on the football pitch, and you know, it was a big statement from the club bringing in a manager like Paul from a from a from a team in the league above who went close to going to the championship. So, big statement from them is brought in some good staff and and some good players. So, you know, they've you know they've left no stone unturned this this summer or this pre-season. And like I say, now it's it's about it's about us now. Us the players are here, the staff are here, and it's about us now. You know, turning that into results and having a good season. And what are the ambitions? I think promotion. It's got to be. The, it's got to be the aim. It's got to be what you know. We set out to do from the first day of pre-season. We're clearing our minds. That's where we want to go. We want to be at the top part of this league. You know, looking to get out of this division. And like I say, we've got the players here. We've got the staff here. And, and now it's for us to 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 get our heads down, do the hard work, and make it happen.